John, and I guess we're back to you. Look at that one, he's stuffing it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone likes a bit of fish in the morning, I suppose. Um, Carol, thanks so much. Um, you know, Carol was telling the truth about the weather, as she always does, yeah. of course, because we can show you. Take a look at this view. This is the view we have. Hottest day of the year, we think, so far. And there's, look at them, get catching some, a few waves in that pool. Carol, good morning. Good morning, both. Good morning to you as well. It's lovely here this morning at London Zoo. Susanna's feeding the penguins. She's already thrown in an ice lolly for them, which ostensibly is frozen water with some sprats inside, and that will help them cool down as well because it is going to be hot and it's going to be humid today too. They're gorgeous. They're so swift in the water, and we've been watching them leap as we've gone through the morning as well. Breeding season's actually just started, and the eggs are incubated for about 40 days. The mum sits in them until they hatch, and then rearing the chicks is a duty performed by both parents and we've got lots of little one-year-olds here you can tell that by the speckled chest when they're black and white well that's when they are fully grown and we've got Ricky I don't know if Paul our lovely cameraman can see here Ricky's been keeping me company a lot this morning he is the only one of his kind here and he's looking for a mate so if anybody knows another rock hopper penguin that might be looking for a mate too Ricky could be your man you have to come to Northwest one though now this morning, it is a lovely start to the day across many parts of the UK. It's warm compared to what we've been used to. And as we go through the day, we're looking at sunshine, but also there will be some thunderstorms, particularly so later on in the day. So if we have a look generally at the UK forecast this morning, there's a lot of sunshine, there's a lot of dry weather around. There are some showers already, however, across parts of the south. And as we go through the day, some of those will be heavy and thundery as they migrate slowly northwards. But north of that, across northern England into Scotland and Northern Ireland, we'll hang on to the drier conditions with the sunshine. So if we look at where the thunderstorms are going to be, we're looking at southwest England, first of all, and across southern counties, moving up towards the Midlands and also in through Wales. There will be some torrential downpours. Now, the showers, not all of us will necessarily see one, but they could lead to surface water problems, some flooding. And it's going to feel humid amongst that, temperatures up to the mid, maybe even the high 20s. As we move further north into Northern Ireland, Northern England and Scotland, we're back into the fresher by comparison conditions. Still a beautiful day, temperatures up to 21, but northwest Scotland hanging on to a bit more cloud and also some spots of rain on and off as we go through the course of the day. Now into the evening and overnight, that band of thundery showers moves northwards, moving through the Midlands into Northern England and also Wales. It's going to be a lively night. There'll be a lot of lightning around and, again, some torrential downpours. To the north of that, some spots of rain as our weather front sinks south across Scotland and to the south, drying up. But it's not going to be a cold night. So we start tomorrow still with all that rain across northern England, the Midlands and also Wales. Still heavy, still thundery and very slowly moving south. Southern areas, though, staying largely dry and in the north, we're looking at a bit more cloud and some spots of rain. But what you will notice tomorrow is it's going to feel cooler than it is today. Much cooler for some, between 5 and 10 degrees lower. Then as we head into Sunday, the front producing the thunderstorms sinks south, but very much as a weak feature, it's fragmenting all the time. So it will take some rain across parts of England and Wales, not getting into the south till much later on in the day. And behind it, brighter conditions with the odd spot of rain across Scotland and Northern Ireland. And that leads us into a cooler, but more settled week next week with some sunshine. But at times, Naga and John, we will have fronts flirting with the northwest. So things settling down quite nicely. Good to hear it. Carol, thank you very much indeed. Lovely stuff. Time now, 16 minutes to nine. Now, it's going to be the hottest day of the year for some of us. So Carol has been at London Zoo. She's been seeing how the residents there are keeping cool. She's also been coping. Now, you know, Carol's a trooper. That's fair to say, huh? So, absolutely. She's got a new friend. Absolutely. Kind of. Well, they've got a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> And as the name suggests, the rock hopper prefers to hop over the rocks than waddle. And they are gorgeous. Look behind me too. You can see the magnificent setting. Every now and again, some water vapor comes up. That's to keep the penguins nice and cool. This is Clyde here, who's been 
the most frisky this morning in terms of pecking but the weather today they will need that water vapor on because it is going to be hot and humid in fact let me move away from <laughs> she's been desperately <laughs> trying to <laughs> graciously very graciously carol um, maneuver yourself around those pesky pecking penguins but it looks like you're making friends with them now <laughs> so calm down a bit <laughs> oh they're so cute oh they're so cute you two look this is harlequin he's been my wee friend for most of the morning he sits around but they do peck if you see anything dangly like your bracelet or the leak that goes into my earpiece they just peck peck and their beaks are sharp as well but they're gorgeous there's 70 humboldt penguins here and there's also a rock hopper look at that see what i mean i'm having a wee peck already anyway it is going to be a pleasant day for some of us not quite so pleasant for others the forecast today is one of sunshine and later on we'll also see some thunderstorms already we've got some showers piling in oh look piling into the south of england through parts of wales as well and we've got more coming up from the near continent so if we take a look at the charts you'll see that we do have showers already across the south there's a lot of sunshine around it's not as cold a start to the day as it has been this week already and uh, there's a lot of love going on down here as well and as we go through the day it's northern england northern ireland and scotland that will hang on to the driest and also the sunniest conditions although northwest scotland prone to a bit more cloud at times and also some patchy rain at times too but the showers will get going through the course of the morning across some southern areas oh and in southern areas what you'll find is the thunderstorms will really get going i'm just going to stand up because they're pecking my leaves <laughs> Hey, little rascals. So the thunderstorms coming in across southern England will be humdingers and could lead to some localised flooding from the southwest across to the southeast, heading up to the Midlands and also in through Wales. Now, not all of us will catch them because there are showers, but they will be torrential. As we move up into northern England, into northern Ireland and Scotland, though we're back into the more settled conditions with dry weather, with sunny spells, apart from northwest Scotland, where we'll have the rain on and off as we go through the course of the day. Then as we move into the evening period, it's going to be humid through the day. It's also going to be humid through the evening and overnight as that line of thunderstorms continues to migrate steadily northwards, getting in across the rest of the Midlands, all of Wales and also northern England. To the north of that, for Northern Ireland and Scotland, well, fresher conditions in comparison and also some splashes of rain. And that's how we'll start Saturday for Scotland and also Northern Ireland. Bright spells, some sunny spells, but also some spots of rain. Meanwhile, our thunderstorms will be ensconced across Northern England, the Midlands and Wales. And they're very slowly going to retreat southwards. But for the south, it should remain dry with some sunshine, but temperatures across the board will be lower than they're going to be today. For some, a good five to 10 degrees lower. On Sunday, the weather front producing the thunderstorms moves back south, but as a weak feature. So there'll be patchy rain on that, moving across parts of England and also Wales. Not getting into the south though until much later in the day. For Scotland and Northern Ireland, again, a fair bit of cloud around and also some spots of rain, but some brightness as well. But Naga and John, that leads us into a more settled week next week. Not quite as warm, with sunshine, and at times some Atlantic fronts just flirting with the northwest of Scotland. Now, I must say, I've had a ball here at London Zoo this morning. Look at them. How could you not love a penguin? Oops. Have yeah. you tried to p -p 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 pick it up? <laughs> You're having a laugh, <laughs> not in a million years. <laughs> that would be the end of me. Oh, day. Oh, Carol, enjoy the zoo. We'll see. We'll see you next week. I reckon that's one of Carol's best gigs. I ever. reckon. I reckon. Next time, lions enclosure. Okay, Carol. Definitely not. She'd have them. She'd take them on. <laughs> Bye, Carol. I hope she doesn't sit down because I just saw the pup of a penguin doing something on the rock behind her. So, um, watch out. Is all I'd say.